Hey, this is Swaggers doing Infamous 2 for GameGuideCentral.com. This is the mission Stories of the Past, and we've already, in Part 1, cleared out the militia and stole their boat. So now we are going through um, the swamp here to try to get to our final destination. There's my Cajun for you, destination. And I'm going to buy the magnum bolts here. Because we've got a bunch of towers to blow up and it's just nice to just get one single... A true thunderbolt, as they say. Cole McGrath, ready for action. Got anyone up there, buddy? Those are new. See the towers ahead? All right. Let's take it slow. Anybody home? Anybody home up there in the tower? No, nobody home. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, look at that! Look at that nice deflection. Oh, you want some of this? Yeah, you're dead. You're dead. Congratulations for that. Hop out, baby. Clear out these suckers before they sink our damn boat. Boom. Oh, hey guys. I didn't even see you there. Whoops, a daisy. Poor editing there. But luckily, I mean, like, it's like two seconds. I just show you how fast you're dying hard. It's like, I look down, push the wrong button, for the ability, and I'm dead. Hey, turret. That's nice. Um, I think I'm gonna get off of this boat. Am I gonna die again? Oh my gosh. I'm getting waylaid. Uh, I thought I'd just stay on the boat. Actually, you need to get off the boat and clear this island, so... I did not deflect very well. I'm actually getting very lucky on hard. I should be dead with the crappy aiming I've got going on here. Take down... Take down. Likewise, in the bow moving. Come on, let's get this puppy going. Hey, hey, what's going on in there? Move your bow. Fine, I'll go kill everyone. Wuss. Take down, take down, turn around, give a dog a bone. I'm all jacked up on energy. Really, they're kind of busy doing something else, so. Oh, hello. Hello, experience. Oh, grenades. My arch nemesis, the grenade slash rocket. Another one, get moving, get moving, Billy. There you go, Billy, get going. Ping. Water. Oh, float. Float like a butterfly. Hello. Oh, where did that rocket come from? Hey, buddy. Would you like to go in the water? Boom! Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. I am not going to lie to you. 
Luckily, they're pretty uh, busy killing each other, but yeah, she says all the boards, so it's up to you how much whooping you want to do. It's a pretty easy experience because, you know, like they said, they're busy with someone else. This is also a good area to get the shock because they're not paying attention to you. Just hit one of these guys by the water, into the water, and then just step in, and boom, they're dead. Fine, I'm coming. Just wanted to launch one last grenade. Oh, you are so lucky I'm out of juice there, buddy. Lucky. Oh, hello, gentlemen. You do not have the proper tickets. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Oh, did you just give me a free ionic vortex? Ooh, you did not want to do that. Corrupted. Where are they coming from? I mean, in the a small fence in the middle of the city, they can't get to you. Here, they're leaping off from island onto here. Maybe that's why the militia are digging in, trying to keep the swamp freaks out of the city. Get out of here! Oh, that's poorly aimed. Really, it was a, a ruse to get them to come in. I rused them good. Oh, hey, buddy. So Bye-bye, right, off the edge of the boat. Oh, another stop. Another oh, camp. Ooh, they look like they've uh, seen some combat. Hey, man. I saw some moving on the far shore. Oh, great. Oh, did you now see something off the front? Oh, hey. Hey. Oh, that was enough to kill you? Oh, I guess not. There you go. Got cut on the timber. Like, uh, which direct? Oh, there's the boat. Okay. Excuse me, let me just hop over here and then hop to the far side. There we go. What did you see moving over here? There are only two electrical supplies on this side. They're heavy, they'll give you a full recharge. If that's not enough, um, go back to the boat to load up and uh, if you felt my strategy for beating the hive last time to get him caught in the geometry uh, was BS on my part well here you go now I gotta kill him legit too legit to quit if you know what I'm saying keep moving oh man I'm so bad with the rolls I am so bad I'm very offensive Should have blow up these guys, these little guys, before they spout out their little laser shooting dudes. All oh, right in your face! That's what I hate about that. You get them with a grenade, and it explodes and covers the entire screen, and then you're like, uh, and then the smoke clears, and he's about to hit you in the face. Where are you? Oh, yeah. So, there's a lot of trees here, just for safety's sake, try to keep some trees between you. If you hit him. Uh-oh. Hey, buddy. Excuse me. Just trying to kill your little spawns. Oh, excuse me, I gotta go find some energy. Boom! Oh, you're almost dead. So close. Ah, these little things are up oh, out of juice. Where'd they jack that one to? Looks like on the side of a tree.
Hey, Hive Lord. Oh, is he not dead? I'm out of juice, and it's out of juice, so you go back to the boat, which is a good move anyway if you're having any problems, because the boat is again high, and most of the enemies just aren't very good with high. These little things will come in, but they're one swift kick and automatic kick and it's done. Where are you, Hive Lord? And that's enough, and boom, you just leave automatically. Um, then we're going to skip ahead to the end, and this is all seen. And there you go. That is Stories of the Past. GameGuideCentral.com. Check us out. Nyx was dead quiet as she led the way. Right out onto... I couldn't believe it. A little slice of Empire City. Through a pained voice, Nyx described what had happened here. She told me about Bertrand with the Ray Sphere and a ring of outcasts. They were prostitutes and swamp dwellers, anybody whose death he thought would go unnoticed. Nyx watched as her family was swallowed up in the blast. Afterwards, only the two of them remained. Clearly, Nyx had been a conduit, her body capable of absorbing the race sphere energy, unleashing her powers. Same thing's got to be true for that supposed human purist Bertrand. Heading back to town, I couldn't stop thinking about it. If Nyx at the edge of the blast was made into such a powerhouse. What about Bertrand? The guy at the dead center. Show that to somebody, just to prove it was real. Figured the demon would understand. We're gonna get Bertrand next. Oh, I know. It's just that all. Look, I gotta go punch something. Been driving that damn boat too long, you know? <laughs>